look so wonderful in your dress I love your hair like that The way it falls on the side of your neck Down your shoulders and back We are surrounded by all of these lies And people are talk too much You got the kind of look in your eyes As if no one knows anything but us Should this be the last thing I see I want you to know it's enough for me It's all that you are is all that I'll ever need So in love So in love So in love So in love You look so beautiful in this light You silhouette over me The way it brings out the blue in your eyes is the tenor Voices surrounding us here They just fade out when you take a breath Just say the word and now we'll disappear Into the wilderness Should this be the last thing I see I want you to know it's enough for me So all that you are is all that I'll ever need So in love So in love So in love So in love You and me, yeah Darling Just so Guess you don't know That you're beautiful Try on Hey, I'm excited. I'm waiting for you in the bushes. Can't wait to see you. I'm sure you're going to be gorgeous. See you in a few minutes, babe. Love you. A half hour ago And if your mirror won't Make it any clearer I'll be the one to let you to see you. I love you so much and I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. You and I Ain't nobody in the world but you You stop the room when we walk in the Spotlight's on Everybody's staring Tell all
to Derek today. Her mother and I. Go receive your bride, Derek. Uh, I wished I could tell you that you were fully ready for the future, but none of us ever are on this day. But we do the best that we can, and there is someone who designed this thing called marriage. His name is God, and he's always there to get you through the bumps and the rough spots if you'll trust him. For Derek, so loves Katie that he'll give anything and everything to meet her needs. For what purpose? So that their marriage will not perish. And Katie, you so love Derry that you give to him, you find out what his deepest needs are and you give to him whatever it is he needs, whatever sacrifice is necessary. For what purpose? So that your love and your marriage will not perish. Katie, by the choice of God, and by the choice of my heart, I take you to be the companion of my life and the object of my love. I pledge myself to you the devotion that shall increase. I know we will pass together through times of sorrow and joy, some hectic schedules and peaceful times, and all the circumstances of life. I want our home to be a refuge of unconditional love. I will cherish you as a treasure from God. And with faith and tenderness, I promise to live with you, to love and honor you, as, as long as we, we both shall live. Derek and Katie, because of the vows you've expressed to each other and the rings that you've exchanged, it is now my happy privilege, my joy and my delight to pronounce you husband and wife. And Derek, I don't want to delay the opportunity one second longer. You've been moving in all evening. Give your wife a kiss. Oh, you baby. My happy privilege to introduce for you the first time Derek and Katie, Mr. and Mrs. Warman. Let them know. Oh, oh, for I, I can't help falling in love with you. Every time the two get undressed. You know, a couple of days ago, I was looking online to see how to write a Father of the Bride speech. And then it dawned on me. I didn't need a template to figure out how to write that speech. All I had to do was look at my beautiful daughter, and the speech writes itself. There's no greater love than a love that a father has for his daughter. I'm proud of Derek. And I respect him and trust him that he'll become the husband and one day the father of his children that my daughter Katie would be proud of. We hung out a lot, but there was always something missing in those eyes. I could see it. 
But when you started flirting with Katie at Yosemite Ranch, that one day you walked out to her at the hostess stand, I knew you found that missing piece. <laughs> I appreciate everything you put up with Derek and myself because we're together all the time. And when I say we literally, we don't watch a basketball game, we watch three or four, so she, she sticks through it. <laughs> and I must say, there was a time when I knew she was the one. Derek and I were about to play a Madden football game, and she joined in. <laughs> and she's actually done that a few times, so thank you. Today, I got to witness my brother make one of the bravest, boldest decisions a man can ever make, and that's to join himself uh, to a wonderful woman. And Katie, you are definitely that uh, and more, and we're very happy to have you in addition to our family. Katie, no matter how many times you are right, and Derek, no matter how many times you are wrong, <laughs> the most important thing will always be your love you have for each other, the life you choose to build together, and the family you are surrounded by each and every day. So Mr. Warman, welcome to the family. We love you both so much. I can't wait to watch you two build your life together. From the ground! <laughs> He'll be completing his MBA here in December, taking on a new job, a new bride. It's awesome. You've, you've come a long ways from our first few days in Canada when you came home. Very, very proud of you. And on behalf of your mom and I, we love you, we're proud of you, we appreciate everything about you. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. So live your life in the present, love each other daily, and live your dreams to the fullest. Since the first day we hung out, it changed my life and it gave me a new purpose and a new meaning. Uh, you're the greatest gift I've ever received and I thank God that I met you and get to love you every day. Uh, you're the love of my life and I can't wait to see you keep your hopes for us. I love you, babe. Number five. 